Moving forward after tragedy in Virginia Beach. Thanks for joining us at 7 o'clock this morning. I'm Lex Gray. We know that you are still grieving this morning and still wondering why. And that's why our coverage continues after a gunman opened fire at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center, killing 12 people and hurting four others. Federal investigators are combing through the building for any evidence left over from Friday afternoon. Yesterday, city and state leaders assured us the investigation is not over or anywhere close to that. An ATF spokesperson says the shooter used two 45 caliber pistols. He bought both of them legally. Authorities have not revealed a motive but say they're still investigating. Many are begging for answers, especially those closest to what happened. Public Works spokesperson Drew Langford was out of the building when the shooting happened. But he says he was told a bullet hole is in his office door. You know, one of my co-workers is a single mother with five kids. The other one just had a baby last fall. Another guy's just gotten here and is waiting for his uh, first grandchild to get here. You know, these people's lives had nothing to do with his. You know, who is, who is he to come up here with, with a gun and take their lives? Beach Police Chief Jim Cervera says officers are preparing a timeline of Friday's events. That includes the intense shootout that led to the shooter's death. City spokesperson Julie Hill says preparations for Monday morning are in the works. If you'd like to show your support, you can leave mementos or messages at a memorial on Princess Anne Road. We're expecting an update from police at 1030 this morning. You can watch that live right here on Wavy TV 10 or stream it online at wavy.com. We are also learning more about the suspect, Dwayne Craddock. After some initial confusion, officials confirmed he was still a city employee. They will not say if his job was in jeopardy or if he had been disciplined recently. This statement was posted to the front door of his family's home in Virginia Beach. It says, quote, The family of Dwayne Craddock wishes to send our heartfelt condolences to the victims. We are also grieving the loss of our loved ones. At this time, we wish to focus on the victims and the lives lost during yesterday's tragic event. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those who lost their lives and those recovering in the hospital. As we've mentioned, investigators still have a lot of work to do. The FBI is asking for your help. If you know anything about what happened, they want to hear from you. That number is 1-800-CALL-FBI. It is also posted on wavy.com. Victims and their families can use that number for information about services. As local police and federal investigators continue their work, the 12 lives lost are still the center of this tragedy. 11 were city employees and one was a contractor. 10 on your sides, Jason Marks digs deeper into their stories. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. A day after Virginia Beach's deadliest crime, the numbness of what occurred still hasn't worn off. It didn't cross my mind, you know, that somebody that close would be hurt like that. Three years ago, Deborah Wyman moved into a new home and quickly developed a friendship with a neighbor across the street. It took gunfire to tear them apart. I, I, you know, I knew she worked there. I just, it just didn't occur to me building two. Wyman's neighbor, Missy Langer, lived by herself and didn't have any family in the area. She was an administrative assistant in public utilities for the past 12 years. I didn't see her car he there yesterday and I hadn't seen it the night before and I assume she went up to visit her family out of state. Unfortunately, Langer wasn't out of town. She was at work when a co-worker came into the building and started firing. She was one of 11 city employees killed. They include right-of-way agents Lakita Brown and Alexander Gusev, engineers Tara Gallagher, Catherine Nixon, and Chris Rapp. Mary Gale spent 20 years with the city. Richard Nettleton was the suspect's supervisor. Account clerk Ryan Cox, Joshua Hardy, and Bobby Williams, who worked for the city for 41 years. Local contractor Bert Snelling was also killed in the massacre. Wyman can't believe this happened, especially to her friend. She just got done redoing her, the inside of her house and the outside, getting it ready for when she retires. Saturday, investigators continue to search for answers inside the building, which is now the center of so much pain. Those answers won't bring back the loved ones, but maybe they can provide a bit of comfort moving forward. The world was robbed because she's a sweet person. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Catherine Nixon of Virginia Beach worked in public utilities. She had been with the city for 10 years as an engineer. Lakita Brown of Chesapeake was a right-of-way agent in public works. She had been with the department for four and a half years. Tara Welch Gallagher worked as an engineer in public works. She was from Virginia Beach and had worked for the city for six years. Gallagher had a bachelor's and master's degree from ODU. 
We'll continue to bring you the stories of these victims throughout the morning. We'll also have continuing coverage of the tragedy in Virginia Beach on air and online. You can find our complete coverage on wavy.com.